Welcome back, True Seeker. Just caught wind that the Cleveland Cavaliers are on a franchise record 13-game winning streak. And I want to show you just how scripted this is. The 13th win came against the Kings. King James, the star of the Cavs, who played his first NBA career game against the Kings. From the moment LeBron James has stepped on the NBA court, every single moment of his career has been scripted. From box scores to final scores to the championships he's been in, there's nothing authentic about it. And there's never been anything authentic about the NBA. It's always been a scripted league with predetermined outcomes. The entire world of professional sports is this way. So I want to show you what's so interesting about this 13-game win streak and the 13th game coming against the Kings. There's a number of things here that are great. So remember, LeBron James won the NBA Finals the other year in Game 7 on the real King James's birthday, which was June 19th. Said that year, before the season even began, why it was a guarantee the Cavs were going to win the NBA Finals. And I later explained why they would definitely be winning on the real King James's birthday, which is exactly what they did. When the Cavs were down 3-1, to one, I said, don't even flinch. They're coming back and winning this. So remember, King James was made a king at 13 months of age. He was born into the throne. And King James, he was a Rosicrucian, and then he became a Freemason in the year he turned 35 years old. 35, huge number last NBA season. Remember when the Cavs got blown out by the Warriors on Martin Luther King Jr. Day by 35 points? King James in Gematria sums to 35. In case you're new here, Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. It's the code you need to know for how all of sports is rigged. And oftentimes I teach how to add up the values of these words. But I've shown it a million times. King James equals 35. King James became a Freemason the year he turned 35 years old. So notice yesterday's date numerology, the date that they got their 13th win against the Kings, was a date with numerology of 35. 12 plus 6 plus 17, 35. King James, 35. Another big King James ritual, setting the franchise win record streak <laughs> against the Kings. And let's not forget the team's called the Cavaliers. What are Cavaliers? King James's son, King Philip, his followers were known as Cavaliers. So when you start to think about this, it shows you that King James, or LeBron James, is someone who was farmed, raised, and named accordingly for his planned future scripted basketball career. This is why you don't know who LeBron James's father is. It's most likely Nate Thurmond, as I've talked about. Nate Thurman ritually sacrificed the former Cav and Warrior who died after the Cavs finally won their NBA championship. So, the Cavs became 18-7 and seven with their 13th straight. They were 5-7 and seven before, which was the last time I talked about the Cavs. 18-7, and seven, special number. Ancient accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry equals 187. Freemasonry is invested in the Kabbalah, which comes from the 187 chapters of the Torah. Again, it's all biblical. King James has a Bible named after him. Holy Bible equals 45 in Gematria, forwards and backwards. If LeBron does win the finals this year at age 33, He'll be 4-5 and five in the finals. And the word Bible alone equals 33. So does LeBron. So does James. So does NBA Finals. So does Masonry. So does Secrecy. If he wins his next game against the Pacers, they'll be 19-7, and seven, which is a lot like the number 197. That's the 45th prime number. So let's see what they do against the Pacers. Last year they swept the Pacers in the playoffs. While they were in that series, if I remember right, James Hardy III was murdered as a ritual sacrifice. His name had the same gematria as King James, James Hardy III, former receiver for the Buffalo Bills. He was found dead in the Indiana River. So, 
when this streak began, again, they were 5-7. and seven. That's a lot like 57. Remember the year that the Cavs won the NBA championship? They won 57 regular season games. And I said then when the regular season ended, I said, here's another sign the Cavs are winning the championship this year, just like I've been saying all year. And by the way, the last three seasons from the start of the year, I've said why the finals would be Warriors and Cavs. And each year, people have told me I was wrong. No, they're not going to do it again. They're not going to do it again. They're not going to do it again. But what did I say this year when the season began? The Cavs will be there, but not the Warriors. And that's looking more and more true, isn't it? And I've said since the beginning of the year, I'm torn on who it's going to be, the Rockets or the Thunder. The Rockets have been getting the tributes. Right now, I favor them, but there's still a lot of basketball left. The Cavs are going to play one of those two teams. But with regards to this streak starting at 5-7, and seven, just Scottish right alone equals 57. So does NBA Finals. So does the NBA Finals. And if you're new here, you're probably like, how can both of those equal the same thing? It's because it's based on the alphabetic order forwards and backwards. Just like how Holy Bible equals 45 with the alphabetic order forwards and 45 with the alphabetic order in reverse. Recall earlier this year, LeBron scored 57 points. 57 days from his birthday. Did a video on that. Said, here's your signs that he's going back again. And it's no surprise to see LeBron in the finals. He's the face of the league, just like Tom Brady's the face of the NFL. In that game where he scored 57, he made 23 shots, which was a career high. The word king equals 23. You know, King James was in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. He was also a Rosicrucian. Rosicrucians gave birth to modern Freemasonry. Last night, LeBron James was 6-6-6 from the field. You know, that was his shooting percentage, 12-18. Remember, the NBA Finals equals 6-6-6. So does basketball game. LeBron James became the first player to go to six straight finals since 66 when Bill Russell did it. LeBron also is a name with Gematria 66. Same with LeBron James. He was a uh, hair shy of a triple-double. And remember, all of his triple-doubles are scripted. That's why he got that very symbolic one on Oscar Robertson's birthday recently. And he's had some triple-doubles against the Kings in his past. But his entire box score is scripted. With regards to 11 rebounds and 9 assists, 119, King James Bible equals 119. Like all seeing eye. Special number. Seven turnovers. That's a lot. He had 32 points to go with his age. He's going to turn 33 December 30th. Same birthday as Tiger Woods, Tyrese, and not coincidentally. We've talked about what's significant about December 30th. 12 plus 30 is 42. LeBron James also equals 42. Number stamped on black history. So we'll leave it there. We'll see what they do against the Pacers. They went against the Pacers and become 19-7, and seven, you know. Remember that when the finals roll around. LeBron James, very likely to become 4-5 and five in the finals. And before the season began, when they first signed Wade, you know, I was thinking and I was like, hmm, does that mean they're going to go to the finals and is LeBron going to lose becoming 3-6? and six? The reason I thought that's a possibility is because Wade wore 3 in Miami LeBron wore six, but at the same time, Miami equals 45. So, you know, that's why the riddles can be tough sometimes. 36 is an interesting number in regards to the finals, too, because the NBA finals equals 666, and that's the 36th triangular number, meaning if you add one through 36 together, it equals 666. Cavs will be playing in Indiana for their next game, it'll be a road game. But pay attention what happens there. I'm trying to think real quick. If they're 9-4 and four at home, that means they're 9-3 and three on the road. So if they win against the Pacers, they'll become 10-3. and three. What that reminds me of is the year that they won the finals. It was in their 103rd game of the season. 103 is the 27th prime. LeBron scored 27 points in that game. Consider the New Testament of the Bible's 27 chapters. It begins with Matthew, which equals 27. And before that game was played, I documented the bizarre death that was in the news just before the game started. Anton Yelchin, the actor, 
crushed in his own driveway at age 27. Remember this story? The actor, he was killed in his own driveway, supposedly left his truck in neutral, and it smashed him into his own house. Bizarre story. What I pointed out before the game was he had 103 birth numerology, the 27th prime. He died at age 27. And later, just hours later, it was going to be the Cavs' 103rd game of the season. And I said, they'll be winning the finals in that one. LeBron goes on to score 27 points. So, it's the way it works. Rig sports, ritual sacrifice. Sometimes the deaths are faked. Oftentimes the people are really killed and a false cause of death is given. With regards to uh, LeBron and um, Wade wearing 23 and 9, it's kind of like 239. That's the 52nd prime number. That's a huge number in sports right now. And that's the number that's coded all over the Thunder this year. They made some signings by those numbers. Oklahoma City has the Gematria 52. I, I still like what I'm seeing going on with Houston more. And, and speaking of which, Houston, Texas also has the 52 Gematria. That was the big number that flooded their city. So if I had to bet on the, what the finals would be today, Cavs versus Rockets. But we'll see what the Thunder end up doing, you know. They could still rally yet. But the Cavs, they're going to be there, of course. That won't surprise anyone, but understanding how the games are scripted, that's the reason I put out these videos. All right, until next time.